the destruction widespread. Protesters seen swinging skateboards through glass. Garbage cans were tossed into city streets. Even a lime scooter thrown into the side of a bus shelter. They even took pieces of brick, like big pieces of brick, small pieces of brick, and they were throwing it into uh, they were trying to throw it at cops. Fahad Butt found himself in the middle of it all last night with his friend Zane Bali. Bali shared this video exclusively with us. They say they were there for a peaceful protest when people started rioting and throwing rocks at windows. Some people vandalized KC Sports. Windows are busted. Crowds even broke 28 windows at the state house. ZF Taylor says the protest started peacefully. Chants slowly got louder. There was a gentleman that was kind of taunting one of the cops and saying things, I'm sure, all inappropriate. Um, and the cop's reaction was immediately to do a side swipe punch at him. That actually is what ignited the violence. As officers sprayed the crowds with mace and told them to disperse, witnesses say that's when the protest turned into rioting and looting. Kid you not, we're standing like this in the street. They look over to the right. Well, let's go here then and just destroy that. And that's exactly what they did. Today, business owners left with a lot of damage and cleanup. Most people say they understand the anger and frustration over the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. But we cannot fight violence with more violence. That is how we're going to get results. It's not going to be by tearing apart the businesses that actually uphold our community. And we do not have any confirmation yet on the number of arrests or injuries from last night. As for damage to the state house property, uh, aside from the windows being broken, we're also told there was damage to some flagpoles, a bench, some granite, and also some fire damage to flags that were in the flower beds. We do not have a cost estimate yet, though. Reporting live in Columbus tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, I know there are a lot of restaurants and other businesses around Capitol Square. Can you paint us a picture for what that looks like tonight? night. Well, yeah, you know, I, looking around, I would not say that every single business here had their windows, their windows smashed, but there are a lot of, of businesses that do have damage, including the Ohio Theater, which is across the street. I'm told about $15,000 in damage just, just to that facility alone. Back to you. Karen Johnson live for us in Columbus. Thank you so much.